Hey, Bill Molyneux here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and this is Tommy Gilbert's Hobby Shop on Water Street. Now, Tommy Gilbert's Hobby Shop has existed in Gettysburg for probably 75 years. We are about to enter Tommy Gilbert's Hobby Shop, and this is a must-see place, and here we go. We'll see if Tommy's in. Let's see if Mr. Gilbert's in the, in the shop. And as you can see, this is about six times bigger than Mr. John's miniature shop. And there's Tommy Gilbert himself. Hello, Jack people. Well, this is my YouTube channel for history and miniature wargaming. Jack from Tucson, Arizona follows your channel. Tell us about your shop, Tommy. We've been here since 1987. And formerly with my uncle, who had it on Steinware Avenue for 42 years. And we used to sell the little K&L soldiers, Civil War soldiers. But since we came over on the north end of town here, we kind of got out of that. And, of course, John over on Steinware took over, which we're glad for. But let me show you a little bit about our store. We have an 8x12 layout. Fully scenic, with Woodland Scenics products. What, what's that Godzilla doing back there? A buddy of mine gave me Godzilla, and the kids love it, you know. Well, I, I remember, thank you again, Mr. Bill. <laughs> we, we, we did that Godzilla game, and I dropped them off, and that was probably close to 20 years ago. And it's the highlight. The kids love it when they come in. Well, show me around, and okay. uh, I do these videos for John at the miniature shop, but I've never done one for you, so we're just going to wing it today. I'm not going to edit this much That's or anything. That's the best way. We have a vacant spot here, and we just got done. Michelle next door redid my floors. We pulled out the old carpet. We have lumber here. We're getting ready to construct two 4 by 8 panels, which we are going to do a diorama of the town of Gettysburg as it was in late June 1863 using my friend Gary Manville's battleground buildings to, de to uh, display them. We're going to be using the wooden scenics dust plug to light them up. Wow. Scenery. So the buildings so will be lit. The buildings will be lit. So we're going to kind of do education as well as model railroading or scenery or diorama building. And I'll show you his buildings are right over here. All right. And as we walk, I'm going to just scan these aisles. You know, you have endless aisles of stuff. And getting more all the time. All right. I'm and coming along. We do 10% off daily, except for the brass engines, but they're negotiable. You know? I'll hit the brass engines in a moment. These are buildings that are all done by Gary Manville. So we have the Dobbin House, the Cash Town Inn, the Rose Farm, the train station wow. as it was in now, 1863. What, are, what scale are these? Are these, these are, are all HO. And that's what will be going on the diorama layout, the courthouse, the seminary. There is, uh, that's old Penn Hall, the old dorm at the college. That's a big building. And we have the Fonsworth House. Uh, you got the Saks Bridge back yep. there. Now, is that haunted in your case or just the one over there? We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope if someone we, comes and buys that, they don't we have one customer goes. bought a Cash Town Inn, and he said, "Can you light it up?" I said, "Sure." I said, "Would you like a ghost up in the window?" He said, "Oh yeah." So we put a warm LED up in there. Good, yeah. Yeah. Well, these buildings, and I'm going to pause the camera for a second, walk around the case, and get a closer view of them. Okay, I moved closer, Tommy, to your buildings. Now, right. now, Gary is supposed to come down, I think it's at the end of the month, to do a presentation over at the History Center. There are several of the shops that have these. And we started him off. When he came in my store, he was buying uh, material, scratch building material. And I said, what are you making with these? And the minute I saw him, I said, well, let's, let's make a... And a, a, a purchase here, and we'll start selling them for you. Yeah, the, the, we've been doing that for the last four years. They're incredible. They are beautiful. Absolutely. And are they made out of a, a foam material? They're made out of a foam, and then he puts a veneer of brick paper that's made in grease over the top of it, or he'll use uh, JTT plastic or evergreen scale precision. Whatever he has to do, and a lot of basswood, which we sell a lot of different okay. sizes of basswood. 
well, we are a modeler's hobby shop. You know, when we had the Gettysburg Miniature uh, Gaming Group here, um, you know, we'd buy our figures at Mr. John's, and he doesn't sell trees or anything. So we'd have to, you know, hustle over here to buy all our terrain and our fences and everything else. So it was quite convenient to have the two of you in town less than five and, miles apart. And we send business to John and other uh, friendly competitors. We network with our dealers. Because nobody can handle it all, and that's the way business should be. Now, behind you, I see the trains. Let Thanks. me uh, come around, and, uh, you know, I'm not a train person, but I was in New Jersey doing one of my videos, and the guy allowed me, who owned that shop, to do one of my videos, and he said, Hey, do you know Tommy Gilbert? And this <laughs> is 400 miles from here. This is a brass imported engine, done made in Korea. There are some that were made in Japan too. And then we, they have lost wax castings put on them. Now that engine right now in my store retails for $400. They also make diesels. Now these are still around and purchased. However, the new plastic ones with the DCC and sound have overtaken it course we would like to see them make more Boy, the detail on this is in incredible we'd like to see him make some civil war era stuff but it's hard to get him to do it <laughs> well um what i think i'll do is i like to take my camera around i'll pause it turn it on hit some of your aisles and then i'll come back and conclude our video all righty and Pleasure. uh I see. I I know, of course, that you were in the in the the military, and thank you for serving. By the you way, you are most welcome. All right, I'm and by the way, we do mail order. If you can't get through on my site, which is www.gilbertshobbyshop.net, give me a call seven one seven three three seven one nine nine two. We'll get right on it. All right, I'm going to pause, walk around the aisles, and we'll come back to finish up. Well, Gilbert's Hobby Shop has everything, and they do carry some plastic wargaming figures, but not much, um, but they do stock a lot of models, um, and a lot of models that are super cool. They have B-17 bomber models here, and look at that. If you're looking for the Titanic, that one looks almost large enough to sail away in. So, you're not into models, you're not into wargaming, and you're not into trains, but you're into slot cars, as slot cars have come back quite a bit. My brother David has sent me my old slot cars and his stuff, and we do have the slot car in the house, in the basement, the setup. Tommy Gilbert also sells slot cars. So, my buddy uh, Joe, out in Ohio, he's a big slot car enthusiast. So if you're looking for slot cars, you can order them online or give Tommy a call and he can mail you out the slot cars. All right. Well, um, we're going to go hit another aisle that I often buy from. Hold on. Well, we're going to pause the video. Well, this is all the plastic HO scale buildings that are brought in and traded out or um, and that Tommy resells and I've purchased an awful lot of these over time I bought some for my <coughs> slot car set and a lot for our big Stalingrad game that we ran in 2009 here in Gettysburg but uh, Tommy Gilbert has just everything you can imagine so if you're a miniature war gamer he has it if you're a slot car enthusiast, he has it. And of course, if you're a model railroader, uh, this is be uh, heaven to you because he has everything needed under the sun here. One of the things I liked about purchasing these from Tommy was they're already built. I did not have to spend time gluing it together, painting it, weathering it. I just could plop it on the battlefield and when we had the old Gettysburg group I did that several times so I just zipped in and bought a couple buildings and it was already on the table that night. Uh, Jack from Arizona was a huge fan of shopping here 
so he's probably going to like this video. Well, I'm going to pause it and head over to see Tommy, and we're going to close out. Well, Tommy, I really appreciate you letting me uh, video your, and your shop. You. And yeah. I'm going to, uh, Jack in Arizona misses you greatly when he would shop here. Okay. I'm going to let you take it away. Uh, folks, if you get the chance to visit Gettysburg and our historic battlefield, please do. And stop over. We're at 346 East Water Street on the northeast end of town. And if you go up the street and around the corner to the right, will be the mural on the back of the Colesmith building that shows the battle with Stevens Run. Um, we hope that you'll visit us and if there's anything you need please get in touch with us and we'll be we'll answer all our emails, all our phone calls and we will ship. And what's your email if they want to send you a if note? The email it is Oh I can get the business card. Just leave one here on the table and there we, we go. And everything's right on there. I'll hold the business card for five seconds. And, uh, yeah, I always loved coming here in the old shop. When my parents were alive, they would take me in there. and We'd buy a box of Airfix soldiers if yeah. I had a good good grades in yeah. school. And we, ha we still handle some of those. Uh, we don't go into depth like we did before. Uh, John can handle that on the other end of town because he's right out there. Yeah. But as far as diorama supplies... We handle almost a full line of wooden scenics, plastic, wood, rubber rock, you name it, we'll try and get it for you. Well, thank you again for your service, and, and I always you. close out my videos with be kind, be safe, and be courteous, and right now be extra kind. Amen. Thank you for letting me visit. You're quite welcome. Thank you.